Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son! Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something! But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only exists in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time. Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos! Uh... <sighs> um... I haven't written any papers myself. But I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the Academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r, &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me! Wait, not that way. Kale? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Paimon's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Paimon's not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, Investigating the area around this tree hollow. Time to go. Hey, look! There's a note here. Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do R&R need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says, This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R&R from the stories would say. If only I were a clever Aranara. A clever Aranara. Is the emphasis on clever or Aranara?
How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? Ah, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lonely tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway... It has nothing to do with me, so... Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Overwhelming. Oh, yes. Yes, overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts Toymakers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja, an Aranara in the Three Little Fungus, it says that Aranara are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. she was okay after we saw the evidence of Arnora activity. She's been acting kind of strange. Anyway, let's go find her. Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have. So Kali came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R&R &R to show up? 
and I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it, or that I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the Tree Hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. <laughs> now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Hmm, what do I do now? Dress up as an Horanara? Oh, no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so that Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. <laughs> oh, but what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tanja could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of Aranara activity we saw during the day was actually... Evidence of Kali's activity. But why didn't she just tell Tanja? Oh, right. Kali told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Yeah, you're right. I'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. <laughs> Time to go. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what can it be? Uh... I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, th that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No. No, I refuse to believe it. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. No! I can't do it. I thought that if I could find an r and &R, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real r and &R, right? What makes this so different? I... Uh... <sighs> Rosie, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So, I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then who was 
it. Ah, uh, wait. You don't mean... It was me. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly! It's not only Rosie. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling. Like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, Dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R&R to look like a secret. Wait, Paimon gets it now! To sum up, all of Uncle Tanjir's fairy tales were actually stories written by Razi! And because Razi didn't want Tanjir to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always.